The jockeying is underway on Capitol Hill tonight after a number of top Democrats, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, announced plans to step down from their leadership roles. Among those vying to move up is Massachusetts Congresswoman Catherine Clark, in the running to become the Democratic Party whip. WBZ's Jordan Jagalinzer caught up with Clark in Malden today. Assistant Speaker Catherine Clark in Malden Saturday morning at her first event since launching her bid to become Democratic Whip. We have some real challenges that families are facing and we're facing together as a nation. This as several top leaders like Nancy Pelosi are stepping down. I see this as a great opportunity to have some, some new leadership while still being able to rely on our mentors and friends who have served us so well. Clark also spoke about the power shift happening on Capitol Hill. The message from the midterms was clear. People chose community over chaos. If elected, the Revere native would become the second highest ranking Democrat in what will be a new Congress. She tells WBZ News that she'll work toward continue our fight to lower costs, to make sure we're creating great paying jobs, protecting the rights of women, and making sure that we're fighting for our democracy. The Massachusetts Congresswoman here at the Mystic Valley YMCA with the United Way of Massachusetts to help distribute food ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. They say the need is greater than ever this year with more families struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, as we emerge from the pandemic, we see the vast inequities that exist across our communities. The United Way is on track to serve 20,000 families this holiday across 20 communities in the state to make sure everyone, no matter their circumstance, can enjoy a home-cooked meal this Thanksgiving. Hunger is on the rise in the Commonwealth and around the country. And with the high cost of groceries, this is really meeting a crucial need. Without Congresswoman Clark, without the United Way, without the Great Boston Food Bank, we couldn't do what we do every day. In Malden, Jordan Jagelins or WBZ News.